There are a few types of pairs of angles that the competitive exams test you with. Two of them are complementary and supplementary. The names sound fancy but the concept is simple. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. And two angles will be supplementary if the sum of their measures equal 180 degrees. Yes, that's how simple it is. Look at these two angles. 35 plus 55 is 90. So yes, they are complementary angles. If the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then they are complementary. Look at this figure and try to name the two complementary angles. Here, we are given that angle ABC is a right angle, which means it measures 90 degrees. It means the sum of these two angles will surely be 90 degrees. So angle ABD and angle DBC will be complementary angles. Remember, if the sum is 90 degrees, then angles are complementary. Here's another pair of angles. 120 plus 60 is 180 degrees, which makes them supplementary. And this figure, in which line MP is a straight line, also has supplementary angles. Angle MNO and angle ONP are supplementary. Notice that these two angles are supplementary as well as adjacent. Adjacent angles which are supplementary form something called a linear pair. The two adjacent angles form a line. And now let's move on to the last type. Four angles are formed when two lines intersect. 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this figure, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angles. They are formed when two lines intersect each other. They are opposite each other and have the same vertex. With the same logic, angle 2 and angle 4 are also vertically opposite angles. Both these pairs are called vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are always equal. In this case, angle 1 will be equal to angle 3 and the measure of angle 2 will be equal to that of angle 4. It doesn't matter how the lines are moved, vertically opposite angles are always equal.